What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a quick little install on some Digilite brackets that I received from Ragu Fabrication. I have a set of Cali Rays on my truck right now and they've been great. A little flimsy when I had my CB antenna on, which you can check out that video. Uh, but Ragu sent me out a, a set of Digilite brackets uh, for free, not paid advertisement or anything like this. They think they're quality is better and they sent them out to me and I'm going to do a review. So these are the brackets they sent out. <clears throat> They're their low profile ditch light brackets made out of steel. They come powder coated. So I'm going to replace my Cali raised ones with these and uh, see how they hold up. See if they take away that little bit of vibration I get driving down the road. I am going to be replacing one of my pods with a Cali raised side shooter pod. I already have those on my truck now um, I won those in a giveaway and my dog ate the end of one of the pods so I'm not gonna rewire that up uh, just to have it look shiny uh, but I'm gonna compare them see how they uh, weather over the year so the Cali rays I have on my truck now are about two years old they've been through a couple main winters and I'm curious to see if they're actually starting to rust peel etc um, I know that they're covered in wax so I'm not really seeing through the wax because I'm too lazy to clean the wax but I'll give you a close uh, shot of, uh, I'll give you a close look at what I've got now and uh, we'll get the other ones on real quick and I'll all right guys so these are the uh, Catherine's side shooter pods um, they're about two years old as well I got them as a full kit uh, they're doing pretty well I, it's hard to tell but there is a very little bit of yellowing um, but not nearly as bad as some of the cheap Amazon uh, pods so they've held up really well there's a little bit of discolorization a little bit of corrosion starting around here from the main salt uh, I don't even know if I can get close enough for you to see that with this camera a little bit of corrosion going on nothing too bad they're faded uh, the bolts rusted, so they're definitely not stainless steel bolts. You can see the wax underneath the bracket. That's because I'm a lazy, uh, lazy waxer and I just throw it everywhere. Um, and then underneath, if you can see it, is our eighth is doing pretty well as well. So we're going to throw these on, and my goal is to compare these Cali raised to the Ragu and give them a good main winter to really take a beating. We see a lot of salt and everything rusts. Uh, my brand new bumper is already rusting. Uh, everything rusts up in New England. So fluid film is our best friend and the elements definitely take a beating on our equipment. So I'm excited to put these on. Uh, I'm hoping that they're a little bit lower. Um, I want a little bit more clean look and I'm hoping that they're a little bit thicker so they take away the vibration uh, driving down the road. I'm cruising on some 285 check 275 80 17 uh, MTRs and they're fairly quiet and they're fairly smooth but at certain speeds they do get a little bit of a, a bounce going on um, it's probably more my shocks I don't think I haven't quite adjusted where I want them yet but uh, hopefully that the, the vibration will go away and and all the better uh, projection of light uh, without that vibration driving down the road so let me get some tools and we'll get started got my tool need a 12 millimeter socket that's it uh, some zip ties if you're redoing your wiring all right guys so I already have my uh, Cali raised bracket in place right here with these two bolts and I know you see a lot of other wires here uh, this just leads to some hood lighting but uh, I'm gonna break a zip tie here, drop everything, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove, loosen both bolts. Rem so I guess uh, on the Forerunner, this was I was able to do this on our Forerunner uh, very easily. Uh, not so easy on the Tacoma. Um, the back just goes too far. Forward, I can't actually swivel the uh, bracket out of the way. So you just gotta remove both bolts. Get from the back. Line up. 
line up the holes. All right guys, so it's a 12, mil, 12 millimeter socket that you need. Just two, uh, two bolts here. It is gonna release your hood from your uh, bracket. So you have a little bit of a challenge trying to keep these two sandwiched together. I'm just gonna set the bracket over there. It's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge to get my bracket out. I just had my windshield replaced and it looks like they buried my I wire to my pod. So I gotta try to fish that out. So that'll be a challenge. Alright. So as soon as I let go of this, both bolts are out. My wind uh, hood's gonna wanna slide down. The goal is to try not to let it move very far. Literally. Can barely get the other bracket out of the way. Slide the new bracket underneath. Now don't get confused, the bracket doesn't go between your hood or your bracket, it goes underneath your bracket so it doesn't screw up the, uh, so it doesn't screw up your hood level or your, the, the, your body lines. I've seen a lot of people put this between their hood and their uh, bracket and that's, that's not the way these go, these go on the bottom. Just threaded those in. Your hood will self-align itself as it gets tight. So I make that one just almost, uh, you know, just just beyond finger tight with the socket. Same thing with that one. Now I can tighten them both up. I could actually see the alignment kind of take place. It found its uh, seat. Uh, you 
You don't need to crank down on them, just a nice little uh, snug fit. We're done. So now I'm going to find out where they fed my stupid line through so I can uh, replace my bracket or I'll show you. I'll show you. So you got my cord, and it goes straight down and it goes underneath my windshield, but like in the crease. So I'm wondering if they they had to. I bet you they sealed that wire in the windshield and they put the new windshield in. And I don't think I'm gonna get that out. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna take this apart, take this off, I'm gonna put it on this one, and then I can get rid of the uh, bracket. So it's a good thing I can't replace this pod because I don't think I can actually get this pod out from underneath that windshield. Um, and I'll try to get a better shot of it, but it, it literally goes like underneath this housing. All right guys, I just got the pod back installed. Um, I retraced that wire a little bit. This one here, it is fixable, but right now it's in a pretty good spot, so I don't have to um, rerun it and zip tie it or anything like that, so I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, hopefully I can replace this pod eventually with um, something a little bit more slim anyway. But, easy install. Um, my hood is still ajar. Uh, but it, easy install. These uh, ragu fabrication uh, brackets are real clean looking, very nice, definitely a lot thicker than the Cali Raised. Um, and hopefully when I drive down the road, they won't vibrate as much as the Cali Raised did. Uh, so hopefully that'll fix the issue. I didn't put the CB antenna back on, uh, mainly because I, I have a ragu fabrication uh, CB antenna mount on the rear of my truck which I have a video about if you want to go check that out. Very easy install and a great place for the antenna. Um, other than that, they're pretty comparable in how high they come off the roof line and kind of the overall design. Um, so we'll see how they hold up over the last year. I'll give you some close-ups. I took the other one off. So this is the uh, passenger side bracket, and as you can see, um, definitely had some rusting that would have been facing the wind. Uh, so it definitely took some beating, uh, definitely some rust around the bolt. Uh, even underneath it had some corrosion going on, some rust there, uh, another chip here. So they held up pretty well, and I, the white is uh, wax, a really, really bad wax, or like I said before. but. Really, it's just um, a lot of it is is just the main winters beat these things, and I'm glad that I uh, changed them out before this winter, so I can uh, see how the ragu ones hold up. Hopefully, they hold up better. Uh, if not, then it is what it is. It's uh, something you're just gonna deal with. But overall, uh, impressed with how they look, and I like the little icon on the uh, driver's side. So we'll see how they do over the over the next year. All right, guys, uh, thanks for stopping in watching this quick video. Um, I know it's a really easy install. There's 100 videos out there uh, about the bracket installs, but <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to compare my Cali Race to the Ragu and just point out a few differences and just to know that I'm going to be testing these out over the next year. And I really hope that I find out uh, if they're more, better quality, um, more rugged. I do want to get better pods. Uh, those are the Cali Race side, side shooters. I do want to get something like a 2x1 
Pod, maybe something like from Heretic Studios or Baja Design. Uh, I just can't afford it. Firefighter budget sucks, uh, but the Cali Rays are great for their money. I have had zero issues with the light itself. I've had them on my Tacoma. I had them on our old Forerunner. Um, I had I had like six 